welcome to Sal del Rey. This lake sits on an estimated 4 million tons of salt, and it's one of only a handful of salt lakes that still exist in America. And it's located just north of Edinburgh. This area actually has a lot of history, beginning with the Native Americans who used this as a resource for uh, preserving meat, uh, for seasoning their food. And actually, this was the first export of the Lower Rio Grande Valley was salt. So an area rich with history uh, from the Native Americans to the Spanish, to the Mexicans, to the Texans, to uh, when it became part of the USA. So just a phenomenal place. A unique point in time where the brine shrimp actually come out and that's what gives the water its pink tinge. Uh, usually comes after a stronger rain, uh, the water comes up, the brine shrimp have more habitat, more area to reproduce. So they'll come up, uh, water turns pink, and that in turn turns into a feeding frenzy for the native wading birds and shorebirds. So uh, a unique time, but you've got to be right on time to catch it. Part of what we would really like to do is let people know that this is here. It's an area to enjoy. People come from around the world, those who do know about it, to experience what is this beautiful place, the wildlife that surrounds it, uh, the wildlife that depends on the lake. So um, an ongoing effort to let the people of the valley know that they have a treasure in their backyards. It is a lake. Um, it is quite shallow though, even when it is full. Um, so I would say it's more of a wading lake, not so much a swimming or boating lake. Um, but I think that makes for a really interesting experience when you come out here. It's shallow water, you can walk on it. The water reflects off the salt, so it's almost like you have two skies. It's a really cool, cool scene. La Sal del Rey is actually on a salt dome, about four million estimated tons of salt. So the salt is always here. What you see on the surface is always here. When it might look like there is not salt is when there is water in the lake. So the rainier seasons in the later fall, uh, you might not get to see what you see right now, this kind of sheet of sand, or of salt rather. But uh, the salt is always here, uh, just depends on what you're looking for in terms of your experience. If you want to see more water come later in the year, uh, if you want to see this just sheet of salt, uh, now is a perfect time. Definitely early morning or late evening. Uh, especially in the summer, it's obviously really hot. There are no facilities out here in terms of getting drinking water, uh, no real shade out here. So I think in any case, an early morning or a late evening would be better for the temperature. Wildlife tends to be more active. So you have much more of an interesting time uh, in the early or late hours of the day. So now you know that deep in the heart of South Texas, there's a place where visitors can actually walk on water. And the best part, there's no admission fee. So come and check it out. For the City of Edinburgh, I'm Roxanne Lerma.